My name is Daniel Dranoff, and I'm an ocean enthusiast. For my senior research class, our professor, Mr. Gant, made us the class split up into groups of three or two and come up with capstone projects that could be used to educate the community and ourselves. Aside from being passionate about the ocean, I'm also passionate about video and the impact that film can have on an audience. So when Diego Caputi and I first got together to come up with a project, we knew immediately that what we wanted to do was incorporate my two passions and make some type of movie about the ocean. We started a blog in October of 2011 to keep our classmates and supporters informed about our efforts. We called it the DD Project. While on a field trip in the shoreline of downtown Miami, Diego and I decided to take a walk around the water. To our amazement, we found several washed up bottles, bags, and other litter across the coast. We thought about how much more trash could be floating out in Miami's beautiful bays, and that could be dangerously polluting our precious ecosystem. We wanted to embark on a series of boat trips to pick up trash from the ocean floor. Though our idea seemed simple, what we later unveiled is that the pollution in the ocean's reefs is not a measly plastic bag or an empty bottle. It's much deeper than that. Aparte del proyecto en que estamos trabajando Dan y yo, otro grupo en nuestra clase decidió empezar a arreglar y mantener el jardín de la escuela. Originalmente, el jardín no está bien mantenido y juntos ahora que estamos ayudando al grupo ese a arreglar el jardín, ahora sí está buen, bien lindo y está limpio y lo estamos manteniendo también. Pour ce projet là et qui m'a choisi Policy Words in Movement. Nous faisons danse pour nous montrer tout le monde ça tout pollution à faire dans toute la rivière côte Michigan. En enero, mi grupo y yo participamos en un proyecto para limpiar el parque tropical de Miami. Las actividades consistían de sacar plantas que no que estaban destruyendo especies de otras plantas. Nosotros las extractamos y we recognize the need on campus to rid our campus of BPA plastic bottles. Um, they are a harm to the environment and to a student's health. So the Key Club took on an initiative to sell stainless steel BPA free bottles to the entire campus. And now our campus is BPA plastic free. Do your part, we can make it now. Find us on Parch. Juntos, conseguimos. A su parte, y juntos, lo vamos a poder hacer. Este proyecto al final es para mostrar para todo el mundo que es posible si 30 crianças juntos en una clase consiguen hacer todos estos proyectos en 5 meses. Imagina o que nós podemos fazer como mundo para melhorar o planeta em si. Ah!